Hi everybody. So today I'm going to give you a three-part review on the Bissell Power Steamer Extended Reach Handheld Steam Cleaner. So the first part of this video and review will be just showing you what comes with the steam cleaner and, and what it says it, it can do. Okay, pretty easy. Kind of like an unboxing even though I've already unboxed it. The second part of the video review will be um, the cleaning with it. So you can actually see it in action. In the third part of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some uh, before and after cleaning using Petri dishes. So what I'll do is I'll swab a site that I'm going to clean, put it on my Petri dish, then I'll clean it with the steam cleaner, and then swab the site again, put it on the Petri dish, so we can actually compare like some before and afters to see does this thing actually kill bacteria, okay? Okay, let's go see what's in the box. Okay, so first things first, it does have a user manual, which we'll go through. Uh, it's pretty small because it's a pretty simple machine. It's not too difficult to use. We have the actual steamer itself. Okay, and I'll show you briefly how that works. You press down on this lid here and unscrew it to fill it. it takes a little bit to unscrew. You fill the water in there. Screw it back. It has like a rubber gasket here, and, and um, that's probably because as we're steam cleaning, we're going to create pressure, and you don't want the steam to shoot out of here. You want the steam to shoot out of the nozzle. Okay, so here's a little PSA when you're using a steam cleaner. I was trying to rush and get a lot of um, video footage in today, so when I noticed that the steam cleaner was running out of steam and needed to be refilled, I did not wait for it to properly cool down before filling and I did not like depressurize it like pressure it all the way until it seemed like the steam was gone so I do not have this on film but I'll tell you what happened so I had unplugged the steam cleaner and I started to unscrew the cap and since I didn't get all the steam out first and I did not let it cool down appropriately the cap flipped off steam spewed everywhere all over my face all over my hand and you can't really tell here but i've got a pretty nasty burn right here on my hand that was completely my fault i don't know if you can see it's starting to blister a little bit um totally my fault so make sure when you're using your steam cleaner that you really let it cool down completely before trying to open the cap and refill it with water and make sure you don't let kids uh, use it and refill it for you. It's not a toy. It is a tool. And so I just want to give that quick PSA. So I got a pretty, pretty badly burnt hand now um, for trying to rush and trying to fill it too quickly. And it just has a press button for when you want the steam to come out. So it's a pretty simple machine. It's not too heavy. Maybe I'll weigh, I'll weigh it and I'll put the what it weighs over here. How about that? Okay, I'll weigh it later and we'll see what it is. I'll put that right there. Okay, it comes with several attachments. I'll show you some of them. It comes with the, this is the big thing, the extended reach, right? So that you can reach different far, far places as you're steam cleaning. It comes with these detail brushes. So there's three different detail brushes that it comes with and they say they're color coded, so red yellowish green and black so let's say you want to use black for your bathroom green for your kitchen red for something else they're color coded that way so you're not using let's say the one you see bathroom on your stove right okay comes with this angled like tool what are they called they call the angled concentrator tool I actually probably use this one the most and it has what they call this and they call this the grout brush tool i have not used this one yet so it'll be interesting to try this one out and what's this guy? This guy is the flat scraping tool. So you can see the steam will come out of here and it'll be used to like scrape off gunk and sticky stuff. Okay, so let's go. Oh, and also, sorry, I forgot. It also comes with a uh, cup so you can fill your steam cleaner and you know you won't overflow it. Just fill it up to the max amount and um, to fill it with your water. Okay, let's, let's go over some of the different features of the steam cleaner and what what Bissell tells us how we can use it, and then we'll go into watching me actually clean with it, okay? All right, so, um, and so I brought it home. I thought it was pretty interesting because on the top here, it does say it eliminates 
percent of germs and bacteria. Now, of course, there's an asterisk there, right? Because it says, use as instructed, results may vary. It was tested under controlled laboratory conditions without tools. Okay, so that's important to know. So we have to use in the way that they say you need to use it in order to see it kill bacteria. Um, so it does have high pressure steam. It's got the different tools, which is great. It cleans and sanitizes. All right, so let's see, how does it do all that? So what I find very interesting in the, in the manual here is they give you instructions for two different types of cleaning, right? One is steam cleaning of hard surfaces. And when you're steam cleaning, it's really to help you uh, get off tough, sticky messes that won't come off with traditional, like just scrubbing with hot soapy water, okay? And the examples that they use for just using steam cleaning is baked on grease on the stove top, dried fruit juice in the refrigerator, you know those sticky spots, stuff like that, S stubborn soap scum on sliding shower doors, gum on countertops. So the steam makes them easier to remove and clean, okay? So that's one way you can use a steam cleaner is actually just to help you get off some really stubborn, sticky stains. And then it also goes into the sanitizing, which I find to be interesting. And that's why I got my Petri dishes so I can kind of test the sanitizing. And they say it's really important before you use to follow the directions. Yes, okay, so non-porous surfaces, we'll do that. What's interesting is how you use it to sanitize. Okay, so first it has to be on a non-porous hard surface. So we'll probably do it, why don't we do the, um, the bacterial test? We can do it with like the kitchen sink. I have a uh, stainless steel kitchen sink that I've really allowed to get really dirty and mucky this week for this. I think that's a good surface to try. Uh, you wanna fill it with the cool water. So they say cool tap water or distilled demineralized water. So I do have well water, but we do have a system. So I would guess that if you have hard water that has lots of mineral deposits in it, that it could clog your nozzle. That's something that you just should think about. It. You know your own water system. Uh, what else? You plug it in. When the red indicator light turns off, so there's a red indicator light, and I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. When the red indicator light turns off, then the steam is ready. You press the trigger to release the steam and apply steam directly to hard surfaces for 20 seconds or longer to eliminate germs and bacteria. So that's what I'm going to do. Now remember on the box here, it said that in the lab, it was under controlled you know, settings, of course, and they used it without the tools. So I will do the same. I'll, I'll um, when I do any bacterial testing, we'll do it without any tools, okay? All right, so let's get started. The second part of the video, you'll see me cleaning different parts of the house using different um, accessories and tools. And then the third part, we'll go into bacteria growth before and after our cleaning. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna to clean today is going to be my stove top. And as you can see, yeah, I let it get really gucky. There's some things that are like stuck on here. I let pasta boil over, so I'm gonna get the steam cleaner ready. Okay, so like I showed you before, I have water measured out here. And you press down, unscrew the top. I'm gonna pour the water in. Okay, replace the cap. Whoops. Replace the cap. I'm gonna plug it in. We plug it in. We're gonna wait for this red light to go out. That's how we'll know the steam's ready. Okay, now that the light's out, the steamer is ready. I'm gonna place on the attachments. You just kind of twist and put on. And I'm gonna use this scraper tool since this is kind of yucky stuff on top. And we'll put the scraper tool on. Oops, if I could get it to lay, I should probably put it on that way, right flat. So what I'll do is I'm going to steam with this. And I have a microfiber cloth here that I'm gonna wipe up any excess stuff. So let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna push this, the button here to activate the steam. And let's see how we do it. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Let me wipe it so we can see what we did. Oh, that's awesome. That came right off, no problem. Okay, let's go over to this light. I think this is like tomato sauce. Perfect, okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my stove here.
Okay, so I have a couple of stubborn spots here that did not come off with this. So I'm gonna try using the little scrubber guy. We'll take that off, we'll put on this attachment, and we'll see how that works. Okay, I'm still having a hard time getting off whatever that is. It did a really nice job with the rest of it, but having a hard time there. So I'm gonna try one more time with the scraper and see how it goes. Give it a little extra attention. Okay, so there's definitely a tough spot here that isn't coming off with the steam. So I would just use my uh, cooktop scraper to get that off. So I don't mean, even know what this is. Another place that the package says it can clean is your oven, like getting the grease off. So let's take a look. My oven though is pretty clean. I don't think it's that greasy. So what we're going to do though, I use my Ninja Food an awful lot. So I'm going to try to use a steamer to clean this greasy area here in my foodie. Okay, so as you can see, my Ninja Foodie grill has a lot of grease up here, so let's give it a try. It's coming off, not the greatest, so I'm gonna try, oh, it is coming off. You can actually see on my cloth, it actually is coming off. I might try a different attachment, hold on. I'm gonna try this angled guy so I can get a better angle in there. No, I don't want that. Well, we'll do that one. Let's see how much grease we get on the cloth this time. It looks gross. Okay, I'm getting some off, not as much. Let's try this guy. much better okay you can definitely see a difference here now this is going to take quite a while to clean um i think actually no look at that this is coming off quite easy now that's just wiping right off can you see that watch i'm going to get a clean piece of the cloth here and it's just wiping right off oh that's great all right and i didn't even steam over that's just from the residual from being over here So you can see kind of a before is the real, you know, you saw it was before and how clean it is. Now this will take some time and I'm not gonna waste your time watching me do this. I'll finish it later um, off, off camera. But I would say that this scrubby nozzle worked the best getting the grease off the foodie. The next thing I'm gonna test is its sanitizing capability, okay? Remember in the manual it said that if you're going to use this as to sanitize hard surfaces, you have to um, apply the steam directly on the hard surface for 20 seconds to eliminate bacteria. How do you even know if it's working, right? Well, what I'm gonna do is I have a Petri dish here, okay? And I've labeled it A, B, and C. I have sterile swabs here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my kitchen sink because I haven't cleaned it in a while and we all know kitchen sinks harbor a ton of bacteria, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave label area C here as a control. So I'm not gonna put anything here, okay? B, I'm gonna use as before. So before I use the steam cleaner, I'm gonna swab my sink, I'll show you, and put it here. And A will be after, after we sanitize using the steam cleaner. Then we have to let the petri dish grow and then I'll show you the results um, in a day or two. So we'll take a sterile swab and I'm gonna swab it all over the kitchen sink. Okay, we're gonna put it on B for before. So now I'm going to steam my sink. 
I'm also gonna be wiping it with paper towels because it's part of, I think, the cleaning process. Then we'll hold it for the 20 seconds. I'm just gonna wipe off some of the gunk so we can do the sanitizing part. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sanitize in a few spots that I will then swab. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so taking another sterile swab, I'm gonna swab those two spots that, and get my Petri dish too, are after. Okay, sterile swab. Use my left hand so you can see. Right where I steam cleaned. And we'll put it in A for after, okay? So I have a little bit on the tip, so I kinda wanna roll that around. Okay, so we're gonna let this incubate and we'll check the results in, in a few days. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours and I looked at my Petri dish that was in my homemade incubator and we definitely have some bacterial growth here. So let's go over what we have. So if you remember in the earlier in the video I showed you, we had labeled this A, B, and C for C being control B being before we steam cleaned, and A being after we steam cleaned. So, I try to hold it against my shirt because it's dark, and you can see better, and I can also put a close-up picture of the Petri dish over here, okay? So we can see, before I cleaned the kitchen sink, we had loads of bacteria, okay, loads of it, and then you watched me steam clean it, and then I held the steam clean, I, I steam cleaned it, I wiped, and then I held the steam cleaner um, for 20 seconds on two separate spots in the sink. And then I swabbed those spots. We you can definitely see there is a, a decrease in bacteria because here you can, it's all smeared up in a paste almost. And here you can actually see individual colonies of bacteria. But I would not say that this killed 99% of the bacteria that was in my sink. It killed a good amount, but not 99%. Now, are there things that, you know, I could have done wrong? Did my uh, swab hit a spot on the sink that the steam wasn't directly at? Very possible, user error most certainly, but we can definitely see that there was a decrease, which is great, just not 99%. Okay, so now for the review of this product. So I've made notes, so I'm gonna be looking at them as I talk to you so that I don't forget anything that I wanna tell you. So I rated the steam cleaner on, let's see, a couple of different things. The, I wrote down the pros. This I rated it on the steam clean function, the sanitize function, I wrote down some cons, <clears throat> and some final thoughts. So when I did the rating, I did it on like a one to five scale, where one was poor, two is okay, three is good, four is great, five is excellent. Okay, and I'm just kind of using that scale while I'm trying to review this. So let's go to the pros. Let's start with our pros. The pros, it is really easy to use. Super easy to use. There are lots of attachments. It's lightweight, has a very long power cord, like a huge long power cord, which is great because you can go all over the place with it. Um, and it uses water to clean, which means that you don't have to use any rinsing after you know using a chemical cleaner. My last pro, for the steam cleaner is the cost. Um, my husband picked it up at Walmart for me for $30. So budget-wise, it's very, extremely budget-friendly for a steam cleaner. So those are definite pros. So for my pros, I actually gave it a five, an excellent, because I really do feel that those pros are great for the, um, especially the ease of use. Like it's super, super easy to use. Then when I look at, I is, uh, is, you know, zoom into the, the steam cleaning function. Now, remember, the steam clean function, according to their book, is to just remove sticky residue, um, tough, like, uh, what do you call it, caked on, fruit juice spills, things like that. So for this, I gave it a three, which was good on my rating scale. I felt like it could remove like tape residue. I didn't show that in a video, but like tape residue really well. So it was like a great, that was like a four, that was great. But then when it came to removing really tough, tough sticky residue, like I showed you on my Ninja Foodie, you still had to 
steam it, scrub it, steam it, scrub it, steam it, scrub it. It wasn't super easy, so I gave it a three, which is a good, which is kind of midway point. It's not bad. It's not awesome, but it was just good. Then when it comes to sanitizing, so that's the second function that the steam cleaner has is sanitizing. Remember, the sanitizing test that they did in their lab, they said, was with no attachments and you, when you held the steam on the spot for 20 seconds. And I did that on my sink, and we had our results here. Just showed you those. So I would give the sanitizing function maybe a three. I think it's good. It's good because it definitely does remove some bacteria for sure, but it didn't remove what I feel it didn't remove 99% of bacteria. It didn't remove that. The other thing is that it, well, I'll go into cons. I'll put it in my cons list. So for sanitizing, I'm going to give it a three. Okay, so for ease of use, my pros, I'm giving it a five. For steam cleaning function, I'm giving it a three. For the sanitizing function, I'm going to give it a three. And let's go to some cons, okay? It feels very loud. It's super, super, super loud. And I actually think you might want to put hearing protection on if your ears are sensitive and you're using this. It's extremely loud. And I know other steam cleaners are loud too. I, my other steam cleaner was loud. I'm just saying it is very loud. Um, it didn't remove the hard substance that I had on, caked on my stove or cooked on my stove top. I still have to use my little uh, scraper, the little um, razor scraper to get that off. Um, and I felt like the 20 second spray on a very small spot for sanitizing is not realistic when it comes to cleaning your home, right? Now, it would probably be okay for a very small spot. Let's just say you wanted to sanitize only, let's say the toilet flusher handle. That's a small area to sit there for 20 seconds or even 40 seconds to do two, you know, to, to get, make sure that you get that sanitize is not a big deal but to actually sanitize an entire sink to a 20 seconds and move it over a little 20 seconds move it over a little 20 seconds move it over a little it would take a very long time uh, to actually get that done so when I looked at my cons I kind of gave it a three again I was like well you know when you look at the cons it would really be a three so my rating system is like not scientific here it's really like intuitively and like how I'm feeling about the product right now so let's see if I give it a five, a three, a three, three. Um, when you average that out, that's like a 3.4 out of five. So I guess overall, I would give the steam cleaner a 3.4 over five, out of five, sorry, a 3.4 out of five. Um, and let me give you some final thoughts. Final thoughts on the Bissell steam cleaner is that it's really good for sticky areas, but not hard cooked on stubborn, stubborn like messes, okay? It's good for removing grease with scrubbing. So using the steam, scrubbing, using the steam, scrubbing. At some points in my foodie you saw I was really able to wipe off some of the grease, but I still needed to use the brush attachment to really scrub off um, you know, some, of, some of it on that side part. You can go back and take a look at that. Um, so, and my thought, final thought about like, so that's the, the steam function. For the sanitizing function, I think what would work better is if you use the sanitizing function after cleaning with a conventional commercial cleaner, I think. So what I am going to do is I'm going to test that out. So stay tuned, there'll be some more videos I'll do where I'm going to clean. I can use my kitchen sink again because we know the kitchen sink is going to grow bacteria. We know it is. So I think what I'll do is I will clean my kitchen sink with a, a conventional clean. I'm not sure which one I'll use yet, either a, a Clorox or a Purell or a uh, Lysol, whatever I have. I'm gonna take a look at what I have, Pine Sol, whatever it is. And I will swab it after the cleaning. So oh, wait, 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 hold on. I'll swab it before cleaning, after cleaning, and then after steaming, sanitizing with the steam cleaner. And then we'll see um, how effective the cleaners are and then the steaming on top of that. So that is it for my uh, thoughts on the Bissell handheld steam cleaner. 
Uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And check back because I'm going to be putting some more videos that is still going to look at this function, the sanitizing function, uh, compared to some other cleaners. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.